Hi guys, welcome back to Linux Bennett channel. Today we're going to be looking at the cube, specifically the total surface area of the cube. Now what the total surface area is, it's the area of all the six faces. So you know that a cube is a three-dimensional and it has six faces, right? So the good thing about the cube is that it's made up of squares. So it's made up of squares. So that makes it a little bit easier to find the total surface area. All right, let us say this measurement could have been five centimeters, right? And you wanted to find the total surface area. Now, because it's a square, all the sides gonna be five, because a square has sides equal. So the good thing about it, as I said, guys, we can just find the area of one of the square and then we times it by six since they are equal. An alternate is that we find the area for one and we can add it six times because all the area would be the same. So the area would be five centimeter times five centimeters. And of course, that would give us 25 centimeters squared. So because we have six of them, all six would have the same area of 25, so we can multiply it by 6. So 6, 5, 30, 3, 3, 0, 6, 2, 12, plus 3, 50. So that would be 150 centimeters square. All right, guys, so now we're going to be looking at the troublesome one, which is the cuboid. Now, a few of my students struggled with this, so I decided to do a video on the cue boy let's go hit the like button guys if you are subscribed if you're not following me on tiktok time to do so now all right so let's look at the cue boy now unlike the cube where it's made up of only squares the cue boy can be a combination of square or only rectangles so it can be square and rectangle or just rectangles all right, let's get into it now. So this is how I showed my students last year and they did very well on it. So to find the total surface area, what I do, I split it up in basically three. Now the base is what it's sitting on. So let's identify the base. Students struggle sometimes to identify the measurement. Like where is the base? Where is the side? Now what I'd suggest to them, run your finger along this. So the base would be what it's sitting on. So this would be three. So let's do that step by step. So the base would be three centimeter. When you go so, the length would be five, right? So you times that by five. So let us erase this for now. So this would be the base. Now the base and the top has the same area. Can you identify that? Because here would be five and here would be three. All right, cool. So we know the base and the top has the same area. Let's focus on the side, which is this side right here. Let me just put that in blue. This area here is identical to this area over here. So let's find the area for this, we automatically find the area for this as well. All right, remember this one is two centimeters. So let's find the area. So see it, the side. So let's find the area for the side. So the side is equal to, it should have been two centimeter by three. So you can literally run your hand on it and then you get your answer. Very easy guys, so it's two centimeter by three centimeter. And remember, there's an identical one over there. Let's look at the one at the front, this one right here. Now the measurement here is five, and if you go up, it's two. So for the front, it would have been, see it here, five, and all the upright one would have been two, because this is the height of it. So all the upright one is Two centimeters so it would have been two centimeter multiplied see there by the five so let's do the maths now 
3 times 5, that's 15. Remember, it's here now, so it's centimeters square. Plus 2 times 3 is 6 centimeters square. 2 times 5 is 10 centimeters square. So 10 and 10 and 15, that's 25, plus 6, 31 centimeters square. Now, what we found was the area for three of them, right? But remember, the other three would have the same area. So that means we can either add this 31 to this to give us 62 centimeters square, or we can just simply, like what my students like to do, multiply it by two. So two ones, two, and two trees, six. So they get the six centimeters square. Let's look at another one. All right, guys, this is where I want you guys to pause the video and try, all right, before I do the solution. So you're going to try doing the video and then well, try doing the question and then let's see if we get the same answer. All right, welcome back. What did you guys get? Put it in the comment section before. So we need to find the total surface area of this cuboid. So let's identify first the base, the side, and the top. So that's the first important thing for students. Once you can identify the base, so the base would have been 3 cm by 6 See how easy it is? The base is what it is sitting on. Alright, so it's 6 cm by 3 cm. And that's the base. Let's figure out the side. Now the side would have been 4 by 3. So students struggled to identify that part of it. So hence I'm doing the video so you guys can know how easy it is so it would have been three centimeter all right let's look at the top no why may I have top here so the base and the top is the same it's actually the front my bad so let's look at the front type in the comment section what's the front before we even do it all right so there we go six but the upright one would have been four as well so here would have been four centimeter as well because all the upright one would have been four including this this and all of them right so let's figure out the area for the front so it's six centimeters multiplied by four centimeter why am i using the color guys i want you guys to look at it carefully and tell me what you realize in terms of the color i deliberately color code it so you guys can tell me in the comment section what you notice about the color all right let's simplify this now so six times three that is 18 centimeters square so it's a rectangle right plus four times three 12 centimeters square six times four 24 centimeters square so let's add 18 plus 12 that's 20 30 30 plus that 54 but as we said earlier this represents three sides but it has six sides and the opposite sides are equal so what we can do add 54 again because the other three would have the same area so this would be 108 centimeters square or you can do like my students just multiply by two all right two four is eight two five ten and that would give us our answer for those who want to be a part of my awesome online class there's my number eight seven six five four nine two one six one now let's spend it tomorrow no doubt i'll see you guys in another video big up to everybody who support me big up all the teachers the parents the students Anyway, they're in the Caribbean. Anyway, they're in the world. All right? Much love.